since we're friends. It's finally summer vacation. It's going to be perfect because I'm going to hang out with my friend Matt, who lives across the street. We have tons of fun together because we like the same things. Matt acts a little different from my other friends, though. He has autism. That means his brain works different from mine. He thinks about and feels things in a different way than I do, but we still have a great time together. We both love sports: football, basketball, baseball, soccer. You name it, we play it. We play on the Cougars basketball team together. Matt is good at scoring, and I'm good at dribbling and passing. We make a good team because we work together. Sometimes Matt has a hard time following directions at practice. He doesn't always understand what the coach is saying. It's hard for him to listen when the gym is really loud. Since we're friends, I show Matt what to do. We have a lot of fun riding the swings at the park. We like to swing super high and pretend we're on a rocket ship blasting off into outer space. Sometimes our feet touch the clouds. If someone is on Matt's favorite swing, he gets very upset and starts yelling. It makes him feel happy to play something the same way every time. Since we're friends, I try to think of something to do while we're waiting, like playing soccer or football. Matt is very interested in animals. When Matt is interested in something, he wants to talk about it all the time. We look at books and watch movies together about animals. We walk around the block together and make up crazy names for the neighborhood dogs. Then we feed them treats through the fence. Since we're friends, I don't mind talking about animals a lot because I like them too. Matt and I go to the pool almost every day. We bring squirt guns, balls, and other toys with us. We soak our football with water and try to splash each other with it. We slide down the water slide and then chase each other with squirt guns and attack. Sometimes kids take our toys without asking. Matt gets frustrated and anxious. He is worried the kids are going to take the toys home and never give them back. Since we're friends, I figure out a way we can all play together so Matt can stop worrying and be calm. When the pool is closed for repairs, Matt gets furious. He doesn't like it when our plans suddenly change. I feel disappointed too. Since we're friends, I think of a new plan and invite Matt to my house to run through the sprinkler. We spray each other with the hose and pretend we're firefighters. At night, kids from our neighborhood get together to play freeze tag. Matt and I like to play because we can run as fast as lightning. Some kids think Matt is weird because it's hard to understand the way he talks. They don't want him to play because sometimes he acts wild when he's excited. Since we're friends, I don't want him to feel left out, so I ask Matt if he wants to play tag with me and my friends. Matt and I always have so much fun together. When it's time for one of us to go home. Matt gets stubborn and sad because he doesn't want the fun to stop. Since we're friends, I make it easier for him and invite him to come over for breakfast in the morning. I give Matt a high five and say, "I'll see you tomorrow."